On tonight's segment of Gravitas Snapshot, we're putting the spotlight on Dean Phillips, the ice cream man who can make life slippery for U.S. President Joe Biden. He's a multi-millionaire gelato tycoon, the heir to one of America's largest liquor dynasties, and a Democrat presidential candidate who's already mounting a big challenge to Joe Biden in the race for the White House's top job in 2024. While most polls show incumbent Biden as an underdog in his anticipated contest against Republican ex-U.S. President Donald Trump, Dean Phillips, it seems, is changing that equation with his own presidential bid. That's right. According to him, the 2024 U.S. presidential elections could become a Phillips versus Biden contest rather than the expected Trump versus Biden rematch. In a recent interview, the congressman from Minnesota said, and I quote, Joe Biden is one of the least well-positioned Democrats to take on this mission. Biden is still the overwhelming favorite for a Democratic nomination, but Phillips' chances of winning are not zero at the moment. He was born in January 20, 1969 in St. Paul, Minnesota. His biological father was a captain in the U.S. Army. Family members say that Dean is the spitting image of his father. In 2000, Dean Phillips earned an MBA from the University of Minnesota. He was named the new CEO of Phillips Distilling Company. In 2012, Phillips stepped down as CEO of Phillips Distilling to manage a small Texas-based gelato company called Talenty. It quickly became one of the best-selling ice cream brands in the country. Phillips' political career began in 2018. In his first campaign, he presented himself as a fiscally responsible, socially inclusive, moderate he focused on bipartisanship and pragmatic governance. He said at the time, I don't aspire to be a politician, I aspire to be a representative. Interestingly, he has voted with Biden's stated policy positions 100% of the time. After Hamas attacked Israel in early October last year, he called for a two-state solution. In early 2023, Phillips began agitating for a democratic challenger to Biden. In February, he said of Biden, and I quote, he's a president of great competence and success. I admire the heck out of President Biden. And if he were 15, 20 years younger, it would be a no-brainer to nominate him. But considering his age, it's absurd we're not promoting competition, but in fact trying to extinguish it. According to reports, a campaign bus with Dean Phillips for president was spotted driving around Ohio on October 24th. This was several days before he had officially announced his presidential bid. The bus bumper had teased his new campaign slogan, Make America Affordable Again. What do fellow Democrats say? Well, they are not very pleased. Democrats have gone to great lengths to ridicule Phillips and his campaign. Some have even accused him of disrespect and disloyalty. They say he is dividing the party. On January 20th, Phillips said he might even consider running on the ticket of no labels, a centrist group exploring an independent bid if there appears to be a potential rematch between Trump and Biden. Naturally, Democrats are alarmed. They fear that his parallel candidacy might siphon votes from Joe Biden and hand them over with an edge to Donald Trump. It's a long shot challenge to Biden at the moment, but Phillips has gone where few Democrats dare go. And what and that, in fact, is what makes 2024 race to the White House even more interesting. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.